I too was under control, and you're absolutely right. Each day the Iraqis would allow me to report. At the beginning it was once a day, then it went up to two, three, eventually ten times a day. And I was joined by colleagues, and we sometimes went twelve times a day. But each time we were required to type out a script which they would check. They would go over it and change it to their, to their desires, whichever they wanted to. They would allow us to broadcast that. When we did news packages, they would look at the video and determine if it would be free to go on or not. The basic restriction that they imposed on us that we could not talk about any military information. They said, nothing military can come through you. Now, one of the dilemmas this pose is, was presented to me last night when I was on the CNN show Crossfire. And, and uh, I was being interviewed by Mr. Pat Buchanan, who I'm sure many of you know, and he's very conservative in his view. And he said to me, Peter Arnett, you're in Baghdad. He says, what if you had gotten secret information that the, Iran the Iraqi authorities were about to launch a devastating attack on Allied troops that would cause thousands of casualties? Wouldn't you be obligated to find some neutral diplomat and smuggle that information out to alert the Allied side to save lives? And he, wham, <laughs> as Pat Buchanan is wont to do, he hit me with it on the air like that. And I thought a moment and I said, no, I didn't have an obligation to do that. It was not my job to smuggle out that kind of information because I'm not a spy. 